Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Ramonis and I'm back again with another video. Today, I will be discussing my um, 2023 um, reflection. Um, I, I already recorded this video, but the audio messed up um, because my, my microphone is right here and my webcam is actually over there. So I recorded it on my computer and I'm talking this way, but my microphone, my boom, like the stand, it doesn't go all the way to here. So it just like stops there. So it was picking my audio in and out. So I decided to re-record. So I really don't have, I can't recreate the energy that I had in that video. It was actually a dope video. I think y'all would have pretty much enjoyed it. Try to do it again and let's see if I can at least get halfway decent. Um, as y'all see in this video, um, it's just me reflecting on my year as the year closes. And we go into the new year of 2024. Um, 2023 was a, was a pretty dope year. Um, I really can't complain. Um, me and my girl, we're in a good place. We're doing well. Um, I experienced some new things this year that I've never done before. Like, for y'all that know me, I'm a Houston Texans fan. Like, I like the Rockets, I like the Texans. Um, I'm, I like the Astros, of course, because we're from here and stuff like that. But I'm not really like a baseball watcher, like every game. But I went and bought every jersey I got. I actually got three Texan jerseys. I got CJ Stroud autograph that he actually autographed for me. Um, I may just edit some of those pictures and put it in here or whatever. Um, I have another, I have two of those jerseys right there that y'all see in the back. It's the Battle Red jersey. I got CJ Stroud regular and I got CJ Stroud that he autographed for me. And then I have a um, Derek Stingley white jersey. And then I come to find out that they're changing the jerseys next year. So I'm gonna have to buy some more jerseys next year. I think I'm gonna buy another CJ Stroud jersey. And I may get either Will Anderson or Tank Dell uh, jersey in the new colorways. Those two. Uh, my girl, I actually got her a CJ Stroud jersey for uh, Christmas. So she got her first um, NFL jersey, first football jersey. So she got that. Then I got a Jalen Green jersey. I know, I know. He's disappointed right now. He's been benched like the last two games or something like that. So it's pretty bad for him right now. It looks like we may trade him. But I got his jersey in the white and green, the San Diego Rockets um, colorway. And I have a, um, I think it's a Jeff Bagwell. Or is it a Nolan Ryan? I think I got a Jeff Bagwell jersey in the Astros. So, um, yeah. Um, me and my girl, we experienced, we've both been to an Astros game before, but we um, it was our first time going together. So, we went to the Astros game. <laughs> together um for the first time and um we both went to the, our first texans game so i had got the astros tickets she had got, got me the tickets to the texans game so we both experienced our first texans game <laughs> The seats were nice, beautiful seats. Um, uh, and then we also have tickets to the Rockets game, but that that will be in 2024. That'll be for our anniversary. I got us some tickets to the Rockets game. So um, it gets against the Suns. It's against the Suns. Um, so some things to look forward to. Um, I actually started me a garden. Um, I actually recorded some clips of my garden, and I actually have good news to report to y'all. But I recorded clips, but I kind of wanted to um, re-record because at the time, um, I feel like my man, my mom was all over the place. Um, I was scrambling in the video, stuff like that. You know, this is my first time building a garden. Uh, I never planted stuff like that, vegetables. I had plants before, but I never had vegetables and stuff like that. So I can't wait till I get to my first harvest, um, which will hopefully be in 2024 because I just planted it. Um, but I have watermelon, 
um, one of my brothers, Gabe, he gave me um, watermelon seeds and he gave me uh, bell pepper seeds. So I planted both of those. I bought a clementine tree from a nursery and I bought a tomato um, plant from a nursery. So those are all four and I have a, um, I have them in buckets right now um, because as I told you I'm going to buy a home and I don't I don't see me I, like planting them permanent and stuff like that. I don't want to deal with that. So I'm having a controlled environment with a grow light and everything like that. So I'll show y'all some clips. Um, and I have a bucket one bucket for my compost pile. I have put some worms in there. I need to go buy, I need to actually order some more worms, some red wigglers. I bought the wrong worms from Academy, but I have my compost in there with the vegetables and stuff like that. So I have it in that, in that soil that's uh, brewing up. Um, but the good news I want to report is, like I told you, this is my first time doing this. So I ain't know what to expect. But yesterday I was being curious. I was like, mm, I'm looking at the buckets. I'm like, it doesn't look like anything's happening. So I. My, you can call me dumb, you can say whatever you want to call it, but I go into the bucket, right? I'm moving around the dirt to find the seed that I planted in that uh, bucket. I find the watermelon seed and guess what? It's starting to sprout. So you see the little feather starting to grow, not feather, but a leaf, whatever you want to call it, starting to grow out of the, um, out of the seed. So it's starting to sprout. So I was like, oh, so I heard put it back in and I didn't put, I didn't dig it deep. I just put a little bit on top of it a little bit and I watered it so I know that's working you know I just have to be patient and you know but it's patience so that's what I have to report on that um uh what else I want to talk about um like I said I can't recreate the energy that I had in the first video so I, I, mean, I still want to put something out um but uh what else I want to talk about oh just me um Cutting out um, um, social media in 2020, 2020, going into 2024, 2023, I, um, as y'all know, I don't really mess with social media. I know I'm looking rough right now. I ain't come on my beard today. I got to take down my hair. Um, but anyways, um, I don't really mess with social media like that. Um, even before I graduated college, I always said that I was going to disappear from social media and just pop up like 10 years later or something like that with a family, home, and everything like that. I don't really mess with social media. I mean, it's just not me. And I've been doing pretty well on it. Um, without it, I mean. So, only time I really like, like, only time I really pop up on social media is maybe like, um, if I'm at an event. Like, for example, shout out to Broderick. Broderick's birthday was on the 28th of December. Um, he had a birthday dinner. We went to the birthday dinner and I uploaded pictures of us that we took. So, like, stuff like that, I pop out and, and pop, upload on and stuff like that. But for the most part, I don't even just sit on social media. It's like, but. YouTube shorts is what has me in the chokehold. I keep telling, I keep telling the fellas I told um, my girl, YouTube shorts is my TikTok. I refuse to make a TikTok, but YouTube shorts is pretty much my TikTok. So um, that's how that's been. Um, what else? Um, and work, work has been good. Um, I kind of feel unmotivated as far as getting another cert right now, um, but I'm gonna push myself to get another cert in 2024. Um, and 2024, I'm looking to, me and my girl looking to buy our first home. Um, so I kind of feel, feel unmotivated right now. Um, because like, like if you know, my, my room right now is just, it's, it's a mess. I've outgrown it. Um, I don't have, y'all know I love shoes. I got too many shoes. I got like probably over 60, 70 pair of shoes and I can't put any more in here. It's like, it's just ridiculous. Um, but in the new home, I have my own office. So it'll be able to bring you more content and things like that. So kind of unmotivated right now, um, but I'm, I'm still trying to push, you know, so I can continue to drop stuff. But um, I'm 2024, I'm looking forward to pushing myself to get another certification. But work has been good. Work has been great. Um, received three raises this past year. Uh, so 2023 has been very good for me. Very good. Um, and, you know, I can't complain. I don't want to take up y'all too much of y'all time. Um, as I'm looking, I'm looking at my iPad right now to look at my little notes that I took. But um, in closing, just wanted to say, um, just I hope y'all enjoyed y'all year. Um, start off the new year strong. Um, happy New Year! By the time you see this, but just here's to hopefully uh, 2024, a year of uh, financial gains. Um, um, a digital detox, of course, and a sweet taste of my first harvest. Like I said, I can't wait to have my first harvest. 
um, my tomato plant actually has a tomato on there already. I don't know if it's going to last, but hey. Um, but, like, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, continuing to support. Um, I like to ask y'all to stay tuned in um, because I want to show y'all this journey that I'm going through, you know. And I got the fellas waiting for me in the Discord right now. Um, so, I'm going to get to that. Um, but, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed your new year and let's get to it. Uh, you know, peace.